All right, and welcome back, folks, to our Persona 4 Golden Playthrough. It's brought to us by FPQC. Thank you for supporting the channel. And it was provided to us by Extra Sugar. Thank you for that. Last time we played, well, we did the intro. We didn't play much, but uh, we uh, we got a Persona, and uh, there's there's a mystery going on. I mean, I, I'm going to assume that most people have played Persona 4, and if you haven't, you should. But, uh... That's it. That's where we are. Now we gotta go check out... What's on TV? We're assuming that the TV has a lot to do with the... The murders that are going on in town. Rating tonight. Will something appear on TV? Let's find out. In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it, it you can see it as many times as you want. Silhouette appeared. Seems to be a woman. Looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it who it is. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on the screen? The image disappeared. We gotta speak to Yosuke tomorrow. Time for bed. Who could it be? Do we know anyone who wears a kimono? What is this place? Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Some kind of velvet room. I have summoned you within your dreams. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. We got the velvet key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. Your soul. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I understand. I, I don't get it. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. The wild card. 
It is like the number zero, empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Did you just call us a zero? Empty? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. What? I don't get it. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> We're going on a date with this guy. Till we meet again. Date's over. Yo! It's your best bro. You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? It's true. It's pretty wild. It has to be us. I want to keep my word too. Let's bring an end to this. You do it. I forget if there's a stat boost for this one. One, one, four, four, one, one, one. <laughs> cool. It's reassuring to hear someone else say it. You know? No step. I tried boost. sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Persona 4, actually. Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like, as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Thou shall be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links? Is this the bond with the Yosuke? Is this bond with the Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You've established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. 
Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. You can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. Achie, um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? <gasps> Yukiko? Why wouldn't she be here? Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. <gasps> that kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No! What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Oh, flip phones. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. Um. Uh. Nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation, and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. Totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. Is that how it works? But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Let's do it. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? What's wrong? 
got bitten. Shh, not so loud, you idiot! Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'll be all right. I think I'm gonna cry. Stupid bear. Hey, you! We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. <laughs> Get used to bear puns, everyone. Anyway, since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah, you'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure, I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Oh, yeah, flip it out. All right, don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was hauled up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? 
Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Okay. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Small dig there. show in the fridge nothing better save let's go check out the midnight channel it's raining tonight something appear on TV I think it's an animation for this one yeah good evening tonight princess Yukiko has a big surprise I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud welcome to not a dream not a hoax princess Yukiko's hunt for her prince charming and I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! Oh my. That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. What do we do? Calm down. Try to contact Yukiko. Try to contact Chie. Three, 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 three. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko-san. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. Time for bed. Sleepy time. New suit. Oh, good morning. Seems that only Nanako is here. You're up early? Where's your father? He woke up early, so I woke up with him. He said he's gonna be late. As you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Ia Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'm out. Peace. I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. I mean... Just look behind you. It looks pretty sunny to me. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Oh no, embarrassed? <laughs> embarrassed by our little cousin? Sorry for the hold up. Oh. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about this. 
We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Well, obviously, the blade that's folded a thousand times. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. What, why does Juness sell katanas? Well, it is Japan, you know. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kind of like this? Or like this? It's the same move, man. What about this? Is this Dark Souls? Uh-oh. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean... No, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. It, oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but, this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! Oh no. Is this America? No, he'd probably be shot by now. Well, you did it, Yosuke. You did it. That's true, this is America. Ain't going you back to seem jail. The type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. No weapons. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Time to hit the golf course. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamana was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? The civvies. Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything. Please?
Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... There you are! Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh, what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. Look, we need to save her. Let's all calm down. So, what are we going to do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. we got to do it, vigilantes. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Time to go see the medieval blacksmith in the middle of town. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Uh, excuse me, metal crap, katanas. Oh, that's not in the same sentence there. I'm sorry. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. How convenient. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Oh. Oh, all right. You really shouldn't do this. Okay, but stay behind us. I think this one actually gives us a stat, but I'm not 100% sure. My reflexes are second to none. Okay, Listen, no, I was wrong. I'm not kidding around. One for stat. One. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. Something to protect your head and neck. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. <laughs> Fat stack of cash. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice, either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Yeah, no one would notice a huge katana. 
Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. All right, it's time to look at art. Gonna sell the golf club. Fortunately, we can't buy a chainmail for Yosuke. And we can't buy any accessories. However, we can uh, buy some items, and I think that might be useful. <gasps> What's this? Bizarre door. Seems like the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. The Velvet Key. Oh, no. We have been expecting you. Marie. The catastrophe that is headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, Please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the magician's social link with Yosuke. Seems that when the Persona of the Magician Arcana is fused, that Persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the Personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. Oh boy. <laughs> Unfriendly looking girl. Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. The girl seems unfriendly. You feel like you've met her somewhere before. Met you somewhere. Why are you here? Dot, dot, dot. Huh. 
Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice and forgive her for her impoliteness. Got it. Yes. Doesn't matter. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Ooh. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The ones you've been repeating over and over? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Farewell. All right, we can play the game now. The time for the stream is over, so we'll have to quit now. Okay. Specialty books. Those are useful for getting stats late at night. You know what? You know what makes life easier when I'm ta taking walks or shopping? The sub-menu button. Ah, the wonderful sub-menu button. The ever-present, press-me-anytime sub-menu button. Oh, housewife. <coughs> oh, you can buy one medicine, that's about it. Can't buy. Can't buy drinks. Bulletin board. Check the job openings. No jobs. The economy, right? Can we go to the shore? Uh, sure. Every no everyone, everybody, blah, blah, blah. Everybody knows about the murder, don't they? It's all I ever hear. Murder this, murder that. Did you see the pictures of Mayumi Yamano's corpse? You know, the news announcer. News announcer. Go on Tuesday the twelfth. You know he's pretty informed. I think he might be the murderer. She was found hanging on an antenna on the house near the river in Inaba. This very town, the next victim was from a nearby school, if memory serves, it was Yasugami High. No, I don't know the victim, I just know what I saw in the news. I'm just an elementary school teacher. The kids I teach know more about society than I do. Go to June S? Sure. Now we can do this in one shot, but I don't think we'll be able to. Really so we're playing out. on hard. 
Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. Seems he's been thinking about himself all this time. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Oh boy. It's more bear puns. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> it, it... Uh... So... Did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude! You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes! Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow! There's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I, I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. What the? A castle? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? Hmm. What a coincidence. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? How suspicious. I mean... Yukiko, saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? Hmm, who knows? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story... I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it, or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Not at all. Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. I like how she completely ignores him. Hey, wait, don't go alone! Jeez, we better follow her. Lots of shadows in the castle. It'll be dangerous inside for a girl by herself. 
you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Let's go find Chie. Take this. Revival beads. I want this. Gathered all of these myself. I'll give them to you. Peach seeds, soul drops. I think peach seeds heal you, soul drops. USP. Gotta go save Chie. But there's no saves, so if we die, well... Well... She hasn't gone that far yet. Ran off all alone. Damn it, let's go. Shadows have been aggravated since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you. So try to get the jump on the shadows before they attack you. Try and land the attack so that the shadows no, does not make the first move. I smell two enemies. Pick them up. Someone else's turn. Uh, first off, tactics. All right, partner. Good work, Sensei! Nice That's moves, one so far! I think this guy's weak to win, but I'm not 100% sure. Jesus. Let's do this, Jiraiya! It's down! Let's go, partner! Okay! Out of our way. So remember when I said that once we have an extra character, we'll be able to do an all-out attack? That's what's that. Oh, we got mysterious cards. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. All right, so I'm trying to remember how this works again. So we can get a new persona, or uh, enemies won't notice us. I think we'll go with the persona. Triggering one more during battles and defeating all enemies with an all-out attack makes shuffle time a cure, cure, cure more. Got slime. Amazing, Sensei. Level up. Nagi leveled up. new spell. Now the problem, like I said, uh, you've noticed, the enemies hit like trucks. So we might, we might die and have to restart. But we can't go back until we find Chie, so... Yeah, we do, but, uh... Our magic is, uh, pretty, uh... Pretty there low. Oh, jeez. That's it, Yosuke! One enemy down! What's the point of hard mode? Oh, no. that's... That's a chance for that one. It's down! Let's go, partner! Okay! Alright, so we can get XP up, money up, uh, our endurance up, 
on the Persona or Luck Up on the Persona. Uh, I think the Endurance might be better. Another level for me! Yeah, our stats are really bad right now. I think we have to level up to like seven. If I remember well. This might be a monster? No. I know there there is a monster that comes out of the chest and uh, they're pretty good. There's also one that's very, very evil. I smell two enemies! Beat them up! So at the start, you almost have to use magic just to survive. That's it, Yosuke! One enemy down! boy, Yosuke! You're in the zone! You hit its weakness! Let's Good answer! Out of our way! Oh, we can get a new persona. The Devil. Or we can get more endurance. I'm just gonna change something real quick. Uh. Oh no, I messed up. Fault. Not a huge heal, but it's gonna give us a bit. Congratulations, Sensei! Uh, I think that's it. We've checked everything. We still need more experience, though. Oh, no, we did miss something. Snuff Soul is actually pretty good. I think it gives us 50 SP. Just to reset. Party size is four. Two enemies. You can attack before them. <laughs> Go, Sensei. Nice move, you partner. knocked it down. No one stands in Sensei's way! Counting on you! Persona! You hit its weakness! Should we sh- Okay! Ready or not, here we come! Oh, we 
can get a skill card, or we can get a chest key. Chest keys usually have good, good stuff inside. Skill card... Hmm, go with chest key. Skill card's good, but only when it's like level 6, 7, 8. All the revival beads. We might need them. Yeah, decent equipment would be nice, like some armor for Yosuke. Soul drops. Like, if we weren't playing on hard, I'd probably be. We'd probably be fighting the boss right now. That's not good. <laughs> Yosuke's in danger! He needs help! Persona! He misses again. That's it, Yosuke! One enemy down! There we go. Down. Now's All our right. Ready or not, here we come! <laughs> if he misses again, we're screwed. <laughs> Yeah, but it's... I think it's like 10%, and 10% work at what we are right now is not great. I smell two enemies! Beat them up! Persona! You're no, it's doing fixed great, values. Yosuke. Well, Keep going. either way. It's down! Let's All right! Oh, we can get Pixie or Absorus. Already at level four. Oh boy. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. Counting on you. Persona. We got we got lucky since we got some soul drops, so I'm not too worried when it comes to our SP, but Like, the bo right. the first boss fight I find is the most, the hardest one, because you can't really save. Oh, Pixie! We get a chest key. Pixie! And welcome to Pixie in our hearts. I forget how much life stone heals you. Thirty percent.
Oh, jeez. I smell three enemies. Don't get careless. Well, all we need to do is three Zeos. If it don't Go, miss. Sensei, you knocked nice. it down. Go, Sensei, nice move, you knocked partner. it down. Go, Sensei, you knocked it. Shit! Uh, it got back up! Hurry and beat it! Uh, it got back up! Hurry and beat it! That's some thick skin! Three enemies left! Great, Sensei! Nice. Go for broke! Go, Sensei! You knocked nice. it down! You hit its weakness! Should we show him who's boss? Good answer! Let's go. Alright, that was a huge waste of SP. Amazing, Sensei! Good at fighting compared to you, Yosuke stinks. Shut up, Ted. Though I gotta admit, you have a knack for this stuff. It's almost as if you're the killer. Doesn't he? So it should be. So you should be the one to give Yosuke orders during a fight. Yeah, we know that. We've done it already. It ticks me off to hear Teddy say that stuff, but I don't want to cause trouble doing my own thing in battle. Don't hesitate to order me around. I'm counting on you. I think this is the boss fight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the boss fight. I'm gonna go grind some more. Well, oh, people wanted hard mode. This is what we get. And I'm not even convinced that we might beat her. Also, the reason why it's the hardest one because you you're pretty much stuck with what you find. AKA uh, all the doing? monsters in the first level and so that's it. It's down. You can't fuse, you can't do anything. Let's get that two. Fully healed. Not really. I think we got a uh, I smell one the initiative enemy. now. You can do it. It's down. Okay. Ready or not, here we come. Oh, Angel. Let's go. Welcomed Angel. Right. We got Sukujaka, Sukukaja. How you say it? Revival bead. Yeah, you can melee the solo fish, but the thing is, you I want to uh, Don't get, get the one more. Someone else's turn. Persona. 
No one stands in Sensei's way. And the all-out battle, so we can get the uh, the cards. Yeah, you, you Dodger. Screw it. Save on SP. We won! No cards. Yeah, they can't uh, one shot us anymore. Well, two shot us. So that's good. Got enough endurance now to survive a single hit. Then again, we didn't get crit yet. I would no, never no. play Nocturne on hard. Saw Callum play it, and no thanks, not for me. Even on normal, it's a pain. Ugh, talking about a pain, it's garbage. Oh, we got Matuti. Look at that silence. Many revival beads. Callum, make it look easy. No. All right, one last run, and then we'll we'll go get the Chie. Thought we'd get a few snuff souls in the chests. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Yeah. Uh, well. I mean, they've had those names since for a long time. So if you're if you know the series, then it's not that bad. I don't think there is on the first level. The lock the gold chests. I could be wrong though. It's good endurance. Okay, so when you pick up, I think it's 20 chests, um, you hear like this kind of sound in the background, it's like scraping chains. That's a optional boss terrible. called the Reaper. Yeah, I think it's the Reaper. Good work, Sensei! That's one so far! <laughs> That's it, Yosuke! One enemy down! Yosuke pounded an enemy! You hit its weakness! Now run! Out of our way! I mean, there's a chance that you might get him. You probably wouldn't, but there's a chance you might. want to survive the first fight. 
Just tarot card again. Attack up. Or defense up. No, I think it's defense up. That. Oh, we got it. I smell two enemies. Oh, it's not up. going down. It's a nugget. Great, Sensei. Go for broke. Nice. It's down. Now's our okay. chance. Out of our way. I think the Reaper scales. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I really should collect keys, though. You did it, Sensei. Especially early on. We're probably not going to use the Zanagi till the end, but it's like I said, it's really just to survive this fight. It shouldn't be that bad. I'm probably uh, overhyping it. Then again, if I die. That would be embarrassing. I smell three enemies. Someone else's Don't turn. Don't get careless. It's a nugget. Good nice work, move, Sensei. Partner. That's yeah. one so far. Go, Sensei. You knocked nice. it down. <laughs> you hit its weakness. Let's Good answer. At least the fights at the start are pretty brain dead. It's either wind or lightning. Uh, let's get our Lou up. Snuff Souls. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Counting on you. Persona. That's it, Yosuke. One enemy down. Atta boy, Yosuke. You're in the zone. Persona. Hey there, Callum. You hit its weakness. Should we All right. I'm just talking about you. Talking about Nocturne Hard. Uh, the one where um, you can die in the tutorial. <laughs> so I must be talking about the regular one then. goes well. What's wrong? What's wrong with the top 100? Well, you know, it's released in North America and Europe. I don't think they were. Chie, are you alright? <laughs> Chie? She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? I hated my name, Yukiko. 
Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpai's too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke. Oh man, is that? It's just like Yosuke. She lost control over her suppressed self. Now it's a shadow. Are, Are we, we talking, talking about, about that, Yukiko? <laughs> She's still not protecting, protecting her? her. You know, someone said that joke when Yosuke showed up. gonna do we need to protect chie i don't know dot 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 we need to protect chie chan right now no don't come near me don't look at me chie calm down no Oh no, don't say it! Don't do it! Wait, stupid! Don't say anything else like that! <laughs> That's right. I'm the one who can't, can't do anything, anything alone. alone. I, I can't, can't win as a girl, girl let alone, alone as a person. person. I'm pathetic. But, but Yukiko, she depends on me. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. I'll never lose my grip on her. She's too important to me. No! That's not how I think of her! <laughs> so you're just going to turn your back and deny me again? But things are different now. When the time comes, I'll be the one left standing. You won't mind, right? I'm still you! Shut up! You're... Jie, no! You're not me! She said it. She actually said it. What an interesting boss model. I like how the knees are starting to buckle. Just hang in there a little longer. 
think you can stop me that easy? Alright, I think she's weak to... Thunder. We could debuff... Mm, let's go sh straight up attacking, because I don't have that much SP. Now it's wind. That's the wrong button. Okay, so when she has a green wall, uh, wind attacks do not affect her. Yeah, I wanted to uh, show info, not rush. Buffs last for uh, three turns. She's going to do her lightning, so... We could have buffed the attack. I hit evasion. You know, I wonder what's stronger. If two shots of Garu is better than... I think she still has a wall now. She's done an all-out attack. Yeah, it's better. Should we show him who's boss? Wait, what? Okay. Throw down! Persona! Mabufu? Okay, we're fine. Get over 
Uh-oh. Should have guarded. You okay? You might want to defend yourself. <laughs> it's okay, I got this. You can you can take a break, Yosuke. Did it through the power of grinding. Chie, uh, are you okay? What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. But, but. You're more than that thing. Everyone has different faces. We understand. Huh? Oh. He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Kind of get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive. That I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. The real test of being good at this game is being able to complete the rest of the dungeon in a single day. That would be extremely hard. Don't you have to have a persona with media? The AoE heal to survive uh, Yukiko? Uh, I... Um... But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Huh? I was reading chat, hey, actually. What should we do? Huh, I don't know. Let's go back. Let's take a break. Hmm. I agree. We need to let Chia rest. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? Uh, I... Uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. <laughs> what, what's she trying? What's, what's she trying to say there? Shadows kept attacking us. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. 
When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here, and that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. Oh boy, a ticking, a ticking clock. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean, they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But, but I can't turn back now! We've come so far! Yukiko's still here! She's all alone! She must be so scared! Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's About eight floors. You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. They are. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail no matter what. Am I wrong? <sighs> All right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. No worries. Let's go together next time. I know how you feel. No worries. We're definitely gonna save Yukiko-san, right? I sure hope so. Or the game's over. Right. I, uh, I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? It's thanks to these. That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. Oh yeah, what's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Oh, Chie. Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Tam ta -dam! I got a pair ready for Chie-chan too. Here you go. Whoa, what the? This is awesome! It's like the fog doesn't exist! Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now! You didn't tell me she was coming! It was all so sad and... I mean, sudden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it alright if I keep these? Faux so show! We'll have to stop here today. But I'll be back with these puppies. She talking about? You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. I mean, technically, we could probably go at it alone, If we don't but... work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? You're right. Yeah, I agree. I promise to. Let's save Yukiko. Let's solve the case. This will be a breeze for us. Overconfidence. <clears throat> save the inn. Amen. All right. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? What? You were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. Not talk about bananas, please. Leave it to me. Ah, uh, sure, why not? No. I had a feeling you'd say that. 
I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. We're now team leader. Oh! Did it again. We have established a new bond. We have been blessed with create. We have been blessed when. We now have the full arcana. We have established the investigation team social link of the full arcana. You may earn an experience bonus when fusing personas of the full arcana. Okay. Let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. Alright, so now we have free reign on what we do with our days. Gonna play video games. Exploring the TV world will use up your afternoon or your after school or afternoon time. You decide to return to Juness. You decide to return to Juness? Okay. We're already there. Now we're in the TV world. Oh boy, it's time for food. Eating delicious hamburgers. That's all for World News Tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Dojima's quiet with a stern expression on his face. Hey, mind if I ask something? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? <laughs> I mean, that's... Because I'm jumping into TVs, you know, it's, it's, I mean, maybe. What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? Of course not. It's nothing important. Don't worry. I see. Straight up a lying to his face. Our benefactor. Well, it's just been nagging at me, that's all. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. Oh. Cutting deep. I agreed to look after you, so don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? Roger, roger. And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Cause when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. Oh, well. You're pretty lucky, because usually they're like half right. Uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. The news continues, heedless of the heavy atmosphere. Don't fight. No fighting. Sorry, it's not my fault. No fighting. Mm. 
nod. Sorry about that. Killed the mood, didn't I? Yeah, kinda. What's in the fridge? Some fried rice. Should we eat it? Like, straight up? Like, let's go. Let's eat it. Let's do it. Didn't, didn't eat enough. It has no t no taste at all. Strange. Can't make lunch. Oh, Nanako. The phone. Did I ever play DDS? No. Oh, it's... It's a teach! Mr. Maroka. I've got something I prepared just for you. I'm gonna deliver it to your house, but the situation's changed. I need you to pick it up. Where am I? I was getting to that. In front of the gas station at the shopping district. You got that? Now hurry up and pick it up. Oka has summoned you. Gotta go. Who called you just now? Don't tell me you're planning to go out this hour. Homeroom. You know how it is. Your homeroom teacher wants to see you? You just transferred here and you've already done something? No. This is you we're talking about. Well, I understand. Go take care of business and hurry back home. Oh boy, going out late at night. Such delinquents. Oh, you're here sooner than I expected. Take the school jersey I got for you. Go on, take it. Got the Yasso High jersey. Oh, this is a costume. You can change your costume. There's a ton of costumes in the game. Now that you got it, get the hell out of here. I need to see this girl home. You know the way to your own house, don't you? Sorry. Now let's do a uh, quick, quick stop at the Velvet Room. Oh, we got no need. What's, what's in here? It's a bar. To turn my store into a nightclub once normal business hours are over. Just gotta survive, you know? The economy, right? Have I met you before during the day? Well, that doesn't matter. This is a nocturnal oasis where adults can escape their daily lives and gather in search of a moment of peace. And I am a butterfly of the night, adorned with gems, who flutters down to bask in this oasis glow. Everything you see and hear here is only a dream. It's a no-no to drag what happens here into the light of day. Remember that. I'm sure you can understand this. There's no place for a child like you. It's time for you to go home. She brushed you off. Seems that the hostess will pay you no attention unless you have something that catches her interest. Goodbye. Read that with a nya? No thanks? Can ask Nitro for that? Shrine is enveloped in darkness, as still and silent as death itself. Feel a chill run down your spine. You feel your courage needs to be at least reliable to set foot in here. Too much of a coward. Let's 
Let's go home. You're back. That got a school jersey. I could have given this school. Everyone's on edge. Well, time for bed. You're tired. Time to rest. I wonder how Chia is doing. Too much stuff happened yesterday. I hope she's back to her usual self. Morning, are you okay? Did you sleep well? Yep, I was out cold until this morning. Uh -huh. Um, thanks for everything yesterday. It's kind of embarrassing, you know? You two were right there to see my hidden feelings and all. Don't sweat it. The same thing happened to Yosuke, right? So, what was it like? Huh? Uh, how, how should I put this? Embarrassing. Oh, I nearly forgot. None of that happened when yours awakened, huh? Hmm. Could that be because you've got nothing to hide? Is that because you're perfect in every single way? Oh, so nothing happened for you? I gotta agree that you seem like a pretty open guy. There's a funny air about you. I don't know. I guess that's what draws people to you or something like that. Was that a compliment? Want me to bear it all? Falling for me, huh? Turns out, you Nancy is a Mary Sue. Gary Stew. Gary, you? Two, two, two. What? Hey, whoa! What are you talking about? Don't oh, do it. you! Don't get arrested again. <laughs> oh, Yosuke, you idiot! Anyways, what's most important right now is to rescue Yukiko. I'm dead set on coming. Remember, you promised. Oh crap, I still haven't gone to the bathroom! Hey, um... Thanks for saving me. Yosuke's cool and all, but there really is something different about you. I feel like you won't let me down. You know, this this is really telling about Yosuke, though. You sense Chi's gratitude to you. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Chie. Chum. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Chariot Arcana. You have established the Chie Sadanaka, social link of the Chariot Arcana. You may earn an additional XP bonus when fusing personas of the Chariot Arcana. Chie's determination in battle has been enhanced. Chie can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. You haven't asked Chie for contact information. Ask her straight out? Say it's for the investigation. Ooh. Let's do it. Straight up. Unfortunately, you don't have enough courage. Oh, no. It's for the investigation. Uh. Oh, right. You'll need this from now on, huh?
You exchange cell numbers with Chie. We have to be careful of the fog that sets in after the rain, right? Let's save her before that happens. After the rain continues for a while, it may become foggy. You must train yourself as much as possible until then. You should go to Juness Food Court on days that you want to explore the other world. After a prolonged period of rain, it may become foggy in town, and if you don't rescue someone who's disappeared before the day it fogs over, the game will end. Keep an eye on the weather report while improving your personas and equipment to be prepared for a rescue attempt. It's Mr. Kondo. Hello and good afternoon, all. My name is Mr. Kondo, your PE teacher, but since no one at the school teaches English, I'll be doubling up my roles. Don't be so disappointed. In fact, I've spent some time overseas. One week of vacation time, to be exact. Well, that's more enough to teach a class. <laughs> well, let's start with the basics of the basics. The English alphabet starts with the letter A, then B, then C, then 23 more. Maybe that was a little too basic. Ha ha ha. Alright, I'll give you an alphabet related pop quiz then. Let's see. Nancy. The word alphabet comes from the words alpha and the other one? Better, bet, or better. Going with better. Good, that's correct. Oh, for lucky. <laughs> Screw you guys. It comes from the first two letters of the Greek alphabet, alpha and beta. By the way, any set of Western European characters in a specific order is called an alphabet. In Japan, when we say alphabet, we're talking about the English alphabet, but it doesn't mean... it doesn't always mean the English one. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Classes have ended for today. The fog will come after several days of rain, so you must prepare to take action. Starting school, you may starting today, you may spend your time after school however you wish. You may visit facilities in town or in school, but remember to enter the TV before the fog sets in to rescue the victim. You may enter the TV from the food court in Juness. Make sure you have prepared. Make sure that you have prepared by pr purchasing equipment to ready yourself for entering the TV to rescue people. You may press the sub menu to travel between locations. Uh, yeah, we can connect. Okay, let's. Now fusions, fusions, fusions. Yo! Wanna head over to Teddy's? Can't go to Yukiko right away. We'll go later on. Yep. We won't. She looks worried. Gonna go save Yukiko? We'll go later on. Yep. Alright, let's go into town. shopping. No books. We could buy some gear. Yeah, so in this game, if we want to get new equipment, we have to sell off uh, items that we've collected from monsters. He's made a lizard charm, a plum potpourri, and a paper. 
you have an internet connection on, you can see what the other players did on this day. Yeah, but we're not gonna... We're not gonna do that, are we? I like how Chie has a chainmail, but not Yosuke. I'm selling your t-shirt. Sorry. Got some new shoes. Sold off your old ones. So her weapons... Yeah, well, she kicks stuff. She's a kicker. Here's the kicker. These aren't that worthwhile at the start. Alright, this is where we're going to spend most of the game. Oh, no. Marie's there. Well then, I, should, I shall tell you about how I can offer you my assistance. I can gather a, more, a number of the personas you possess and provide you with the ability to fuse them. I have suggestions for the creation of powerful personas that may be of use to you. If you want to summon a new persona you have not registered, please try the summon persona option. However, if you register persona in the compendium, blah, blah, blah. Compendium, ask Margaret. Check Compendium. We can register our personas, like Izanagi. Sure, why not? Alright, so... There is a variety of methods to fuse personas together. There's a f fusion of two, there's a fusion of three. It can go pretty high. The drawback is that using multiple personas in a fusion always results in a single persona. Do not forget this. Also, a persona created through fusion may gain additional powers depending on the day it is created. Refer to the fusion forecast. I don't think I've ever done that. You get, like, sometimes you get a skill or get stats, but that's about it. Thank you for asking about the Fusion Forecast. So, we get bonus stats if we fuse today. If we fuse tomorrow, and we use a Persona of the Magician Arcana in a fusion, we get Zeo, which is pretty decent. So if we go through... We can go through this. So we could, we could uh, fusion for a Saki Mitama. Unfortunately, we don't have the level for it, but we're just going to go through it. Um, it's going to take our Asparasus, Pixie and Angel. It's going to take our Izanagi, got Oberon, Moikane, Angel, Orneus, Valkyrie, Sandman, and. Really? Nubis? Level 59, let's go. Let's go check out the voice. The five most popular fusions. Let's acquire data. Oh boy, Oribus, Archangel, Eligor, a lot of Oribus. Why? Why Oribus? Oh, he's weak to... He's ah, he's strong against fire. Hmm. That could be really good. Against, uh... The next boss. That I will not spoil. But everyone knows who it is.
Well, right now, the only thing we can get is Sandman. Um, I don't know about this guy. You guys want a Sandman? All right, let's um, put uh, Apsiris and Pixie, I guess, or, or Angel. Mm -hmm. uh, how about we get Dia? Dia's always good. No ranks, so that's all we're gonna get. Yeah, skill selection is... I've done fusion in a nocturne. It's very fun. <laughs> Moon Man. Under the current fusion forecast conditions, Sandman has gained additional power. Endurance up. Luck up. So with Sandman, we can summon other stuff, but we don't have the levels, unfortunately, so... So we can give her skill cards, like Matuti. 2D. And we can buy Matuti if we wanted to. So basically, we give her a card, and then she sells it back, but unlimited copies. So that's pretty good. Alright, and I think on that, we will call it there for tonight. It's already been two hours. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, special thanks once again to FPQC for supporting the channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.